The ferry service to and from Koh Chung is both frequent and reliable, so there are always people and cars waiting at both ends for the 20 minute or so crossing. It's a beautiful green island this, and there are fabulous resorts dotted all along its coast. I'm visiting one today, it's a familiar name as well, it's called Siam Royal View. Roland, um, you're probably the one who has helped, uh, largely helped make the name Siam Royal View famous along the eastern seaboard and I'm sure in many parts of Thailand. Uh, is that what you set out to do? Uh, no, not really. I think we got into this business uh, a little bit by accident, have become uh, fairly large with our developments and uh, have just set a high quality standard and continued working on it through difficult times also. And uh, that was uh, what has evolved uh, is what CM Review developments are today. It's interesting that um, developers, and you're a good example, I think, despite having success elsewhere, seem to be on the lookout for other opportunities for much of the time. And it seems to me you came across this one and knew you had to have it. Yeah, it's uh, very rare to find uh, a piece of land that in itself has an absolute wow factor. And what sells uh, property developments are wow factors. And if you don't have to build them, if you've already got it on site, it makes uh, your job so much easier. I'm sure you remember what it was about this setting that made you go, wow. <laughs> well, it's the, the secluded private bay. It's the two-sidedness uh, where we have oceans on two sides. Uh, it's the lush greenery all around, which is national park and can't be destroyed. Uh, the location also being close to the ferry but close to the main strip on the island. Uh, so it's uh, basically all the components that you need for, for a successful uh, uh, property development. And the place where I could envisage myself having a beach home. But I can see that you really wanted to preserve a Thai feeling here on this part of the island. Uh, we call it a modern Thai style. Mm -hmm. I think it's important uh, to make sure that if you build something that it fits into the surrounding natural beauty. Uh, we are in Thailand here. People who come from overseas on a holiday expect to find a bit of a Thai flair, but they also expect to find a full amenities Western style house. So we have uh, compromised between traditional Thai architecture and modern uh, Western construction standards. Yes, and facilities obviously. Yes. Even so, there's a marvellous little hippie house up the end there. What's that about? Uh, yeah, we, it's uh, actually a, a water sports centre with a surf bar uh, where, uh, a cup, that a couple runs. Uh, uh, it's, it's very authentic because they live this lifestyle. We've provided them with a piece of land where they can uh, offer water sports to our residents and uh, provide drinks in a chilled back, backpacker type of uh, ambience which is also something that uh, people obviously have seen on TV. That's the way you chill in Thailand, so we need to have one area within the development where that is possible. So once people have been here for a little while and want some activity, it would have to be water sports, of course. Uh, water sports is definitely big. Uh, we have, uh, our development has uh, four kilometers of ocean front and uh, one and a half kilometers of river front. So there's a lot of water surrounding uh, the development. We have a known 75 berth marina which can accommodate uh, yachts up to 100 foot. Uh, we also have a dry dock area where smaller speed boats can be taken out of the water and trailered and, and uh, left out of the water when the residents are not here. Uh, in the marina village we are also uh, just about to open the marina pub right at the edge of the marina basin and a multifunction center which will serve when there are no functions as an indoor mini golf course. So uh, we try to provide more and more uh, attractions on site so people can spend a multi-week holiday here uh, and not get bored. Your philosophy is a little different for that area, is it? Uh, it's, it it's mixed. Uh, the, the marina, uh, right next to the marina basin, will uh, house two very low density condominiums with only 20 units each building, right on the river 
So there is both the old Thai charm of riverside lifestyle as well as a modern uh, possibility for, for European lifestyle. There. So for you, you're a, a formal businessman in other parts of Thailand, but here it's a barefoot operation for you here at Koh Chung and a, in an enviable setting that uh, I can't see you wanting to leave. Yeah, that's uh, the first thing I do when I get on the island, I throw away the shoes and uh, we enjoy, my whole family enjoys walking around barefoot. And we enjoy the island lifestyle uh, yeah, and it's hard to leave when we have to go back to the big cities. Sorry.